In this work, we present Dissect, a differentiable simulator for robotic cutting. Our simulator accurately predicts the forces acting on the knife as it presses and slices through common biomaterials. Dissect implements the finite element method and uses tetrahedral discretization to represent the biomaterial as a mesh. Before the simulation begins, we slice the mesh following the virtual node algorithm, which duplicates elements intersecting with the cutting surface, and augments them by virtual nodes. These vertices add extra degrees of freedom to simulate contact dynamics. We represent the geometry of the knife implicitly by a signed distance field. This representation is used to compute the penetration depth and surface normal at the places where the knife makes contact with the object. As the knife exerts contact forces on the mesh, springs connecting the separate parts of the object are weakened over time, yielding a continuous model for damage mechanics. We leverage reverse mode automatic differentiation to efficiently compute gradients of the simulation parameters on the GPU. Through gradient-based Bayesian inference algorithms, we optimize the parameters for each of the inserted cutting springs separately. In the following, we show the evolution of the simulation parameters corresponding to each cutting spring, while minimizing the error in the predicted knife force profile between our simulator and real-world measurements from a robot cutting an actual potato. Within 150 gradient evaluations, our simulator closely predicts the knife force profile. Here, we optimize the simulation parameters to match a real-world force trajectory from a robot cutting an apple. Note how far apart the simulated and actual force profiles were before the calibration begun. We generate ground truth cutting data in a commercial simulator, which allows us to precisely control the experimental setup, such as shape and material properties. Given such data, we can also leverage the nodal displacement field trajectories as an additional ground truth signal. After optimizing the simulation parameters, Dissect is able to predict the motion of the vertices much more accurately. Here, we visualize the evolution of the simulation parameters, which are tuned for each cutting spring independently, except for the initial height of the knife, shown in the top left diagram. Dissect not only calibrated for nodal displacements, but also for the knife force profile to match the commercial simulation in this experiment. After 300 iterations with the Atom Optimizer, our simulation also achieves a close match on the force trajectory. Besides for parameter inference, the gradients of our differentiable cutting simulator can also be used to optimize the cutting motion of the knife. In this experiment we represent a trajectory by keyframes which encode the downward velocity, as well as the frequency and amplitude of a sinusoidal sideways velocity. At the start of the optimization, the initial motion is a straight downward pressing trajectory. We optimize this trajectory with the objective to minimize the mean force on the knife and penalize the time it takes to cut the object. Studies have shown that humans perform sawing motions when cutting biomaterials in order to reduce the required force. As we will see, such behavior emerges when we use constrained trajectory optimization. After 50 iterations with atom optimization, we see a reduction in average knife force by 15%. However, the knife slices sideways further than its blade length. Therefore, we add a hard constraint to keep the lateral motion within valid limits and employ the modified differential method of multipliers to perform constrained optimization. Thanks to the end-to-end -end differentiability of dissect, accurate gradients for such constraints are available, and lead to a valid knife motion which requires only 0.3% more force than the unconstrained result. Thank you for your attention.